Yo, what's going on? We got another one. Australians are getting smashed by Starlink. Everyone hates Tesla. Shout outs to Starlink. SpaceX. Yeah, look, whatever. Let's get it. Elon Musk is turning the NBN satellite business into a white elephant. Musk's satellite service, Starlink, is providing better internet service to those in the bush. As many of you watching will know, Starlink speed is much faster and it's more reliable than the NBN satellite business. Starlink now has 200,000 customers, according to figures quoted by the ACCC. And in NBN's latest report, it showed that their satellite customers had crashed by 23% and they were down to just 86,000 customers. It seems they were so embarrassed by being beaten by the tech billionaire that they've decided to kill off any notion of transparency. The NBN has stopped its decade-long practice of publishing weekly data on their customers. Ooh, they can't even publish that data no more. You can't even know no transparency because they're getting smashed on real man time against Starlink. And Starlink is a very advanced system. And so for you guys that don't know, SpaceX has been sending massive amounts of satellites into the sky and into the sky and stratosphere have been able to provide us with the connectivity that they have across the world. A lot of countries are still waiting for actual national regulation in order for Starlink to turn on. But a lot of places in the bush, that means rural areas, that means places that are not in Sydney, guys, in the bush, that's what they call it, in Australia and the down under, this is where the internet connection is, and the internet connection is great. To discuss this, let's bring in now Shadow Communications Minister David Coleman. David, great to see you. Look, what do you make of this new lack of transparency from the NBN? Oh, it's a disgrace, Shari. So the NBN is getting smashed by Elon Musk. Um, it's creating embarrassing headlines for the NBN and for the government. You led some of the early reporting on that, and that's been followed up by uh, media outlets right across the board. Um, its satellite business is collapsing. Uh, it's also lost about 80,000 customers from traditional homes, what they call the brownfields business. And so what the NBN has now done is stop publishing a report that has existed for a decade, and this from a government that was supposedly all about uh, transparency uh, and integrity. It is a disgrace, and that report has to be reinstated. Why do you think it is? When you start losing, you can't, come on, you can't disclose that information. When Elon Musk is just smashing on you, you got no choice but to just keep quiet. Tonight is the night that we ride. That Elon Musk's Starlink is able to provide much better service than the NBN. Well, look, he innovated uh, technically. I mean, he has a track record of doing that across many industries, and he's certainly done that uh, with satellite and related space exploration, no question. You know, the government's response, Michelle Rowland's response, was to organise a roundtable of academics. So, mm. you know, Elon Musk, entrepreneur on one side, uh, government roundtable of academics on the other. Some in academia. <laughs> Not engineers. None of that. Some in academia. Let's sit around the round table and figure this bad boy out. How could we have better technology? Did we summon any people that are actually experts in this technology? No. I'm going to summon academia, all the professors coming far and wide, stretching from the rural areas down to the urban cities. I need you to come to Sydney and we're going to get busy trying to be Elon, the number one Don. Come on. It's not going to happen. Let's continue. Who's going to win? And uh, Elon Musk is winning. But the issue, I think, for the public, Shari, is that we deserve to know what is going on in the NBN. Mm. It's completely unacceptable uh, for this information to be hidden. Uh, this has been around for a decade uh, mm. and, and they've got to reinstate this and there's further steps we can take if they don't. Look, we have to ask how much the NBN satellite service is continuing to cost taxpayers given that it's been so quickly outshone by Elon Musk's new technology. I mean, what is the cost of this yeah. so far to taxpayers? And guys, it hasn't been quickly outshunned, okay? It took us a long time to build up what we built up with SpaceX. And yes, guys, I'm a holder of stocks of SpaceX. But anyways, it's not that quick okay we you know give yourself some compliments and a pat on the back you guys have been able to carry the load for a long time so congratulations to the mbm but guess what it's time for the big boys yeah it's huge shari the, the overall cost to the nbn of taxpayers is increasing so in the last six months uh that they reported on the nbn's cash loss effectively was 1.1 billion dollars which was up by more than 400 million on the previous um period 
they're losing customers because their prices are going up. So satellite, broadband, prices are up about 14% since... Prices are up, numbers are down, you losing money, smart. October alone. So losing customers, mm. losing money, and now uh, not even giving us the information that we yeah. all deserve. Look, he's, he's far from perfect, Elon Musk, and Labor in particular like to paint him as a villain. But, you know, to say he's fixing the problem of internet outages in the bush, which successive governments haven't been able to do, and, and we've spoken before about how important it is in times of bushfires or floods or other mo emergencies, you, you really do need uh, connectivity. Just and you need to connect connectivity for education and for information guys not only just for bushfires and floods like you don't have to wait to the armageddon to actually get information i think information is still important so shout out to the iot and shout outs to spacex and starlink actually providing a service where the government can no longer do it and i'm not here to actually make fun of the mbn i mean they've done what they can up until this point for a relatively small nation, meaning in population size. So uh, massive amounts of congratulations to them, but you're going to have to let Elon, the Dawn and Tesla and SpaceX and people like us take over from here. Okay. You did a good job. Just quickly before you go, yeah. the Albanese government yeah. is looks like it is going to reject calls for a blanket ban on gambling advertising. Mm -hmm. Instead, Labor's pushing, pushing forward mm -hmm. with a partial ban, so it'll be during children's shows and live sports broadcasts. Uh, David, do you support, do you think there should be a ban on gambling advertising? Well, look, Sherry, we back in May last year, Peter Dutton announced in his budget reply speech that... We okay, okay, they're talking about gambling. They they, they banning government? Uh, come on, man, dang. All right, let's see what the normies are saying. The scariest thing about living in Australia is the government. Okay, cool. If you want something, stuff up, give it to the government. Okay, got you. So if you want something messed up, give it to the government. Not quite true, but okay, continue. And Starlink as a whole with 6,200 satellite costs 18 billion to develop. And in Australia too, NBN satellites cost 56 billion. Wow. And remember that NBN still isn't finished. And remember Starlink covers the entire planet. NBN hardly covers one country, but we deserve what we get. And not only that, you know, Elon at SpaceX figured out a way of reducing the cost by having reusable rockets. So the majority of those costs might come from also other companies and third parties and the aerospace industry just gouging the prices and getting mad money from the government. Unlike SpaceX, which found ways to reduce the price by creating better technology and then also changing the contract with the government and getting paid based off of performance versus just getting paid, period. But that was in America. I'm not quite sure how the MBN works, but net, net, you got to give them some props because you could be like Africa and have no internet. So be grateful that your government at least was able to deliver that. And why does everyone have to mention he's a billionaire? He doesn't own a house. He works 16 hours a day to advance us all. Money doesn't mean anything to him specifically. Just drop it. It's a waste of time. And I would agree. You know, Elon doesn't have these cars, doesn't have these big fancy houses. All of his money is just invested right back into SpaceX and Tesla and any other other companies that he has. But really, he doesn't carry around loads of cash or just big fancy things, right? Mm -hmm. Even during what, you know, July 1st or July 4th, he was just working. He was at a factory in Texas building out the new area for artificial intelligence, like building out the supercomputer. So. It would be cheaper to just close down the MBN and sack the CEO and give your money to Starlink and SpaceX. I think that would be a good idea. And so I switched years ago from NBN fixed wireless to Starlink zero regrets. I'm happy that this can be done. And of course, it's always Elon getting these things done. And I don't know if a lot of you guys actually seen what it looks like. Starlink map. I wish I could just bring it up. Hopefully. It will allow me to bring it up quick enough. Here we go. We're going to bring it up on the screen. I don't know if you guys actually saw this. So this is what the Starlink map looks like. And as you can see, available across Australia for the most part. And a lot of other countries are still waiting to be on the list. It's mostly regulation within the country. Um, shout outs to South America. A lot of countries are already down on South America. Venezuela, obviously not. And of course, we have... Bolivia coming in 2025, of course, pending on legislation. And unfortunately, one of the largest places in the world is Africa, and they have zero access. Shout out to China and Russia. Well, probably won't happen there. And a couple of places in the Middle East 
but look how big Africa is and available now. Shout outs to Nigeria and other places like Kenya and here we go, Tanzania, I believe. So we got some, no, not Tanzania. What's underneath it? A couple of countries, a bunch of countries. Okay, cool. But well, we got some parts in Africa. So Africans, y'all need to at least sign up. Stop trying to be independent. Go ahead and let SpaceX take that off. You know, let us relieve you from that. Yeah, y'all, y'all never shot a goddamn spaceship or a satellite. So let us get it done. Okay. So everyone hates Tesla. Somehow it still translates back to Starlink and SpaceX. So I'm still going to cover those dope inventions and technologies because even in these companies which is spacex and starlink is still going to affect tesla at the end of the day so everyone hates tesla i don't know why why they keep on hating like share subscribe support the channel hit the notification bell so you can get this ether and you can stay plugged into the information catch you guys on the next